Today marks the 200th anniversary of the burning of Niagara. On December 10, 1813, the village of Niagara was set on fire by fleeing Americans and burned to the ground. As a way to commemorate this event, the Lord Mayor and Town Council are unveiling a new flag that rises from the ashes of history. Are you ready? On the count of three, two, one, and go. This is the, uh, the launching of the first flag for Upper Canada's capital, the town of Niagara on the Lake. And uh, it's, it's an event that will become a legacy because today specifically, December the 10th, was the official day that the Americans, after occupying us since May, uh, left in 1813 on December the 10th, upon which they burned the town pretty well to the ground. And so what we're celebrating here this evening from a a flag perspective is the launching of our first town flag out of the ashes of the t of the burning of the town December 10th uh, 1813. The idea spawned from something I had just over two years ago and uh, I, I wondered first of all would it be accepted to, by residents of the town and then how do you launch it just as you've asked Rebecca and so I, I, I tested the idea with our Bicentennial Committee and they thought it was a great idea and then uh, one of the members of our Bicentennial Committee, Tony Chisholm, he indicated that we'll do it out of the burning of the town, out of the ashes comes this new flag and a new beginning. So it was a great, great idea. And then one of the uh, um, co-chairs for the committee, uh, Dr. Richard Merritt, he, uh, he said, listen, I, I know Bishop Spence, and he's a member of the heraldry office in the governor general's office, and uh, he'll be able to give us assistance. And so we worked with him, contacted him, and, uh, and back and forth, and we come up with the development and the design for the new flag. It was a year and a half ago that the good Dr. Merritt uh, appeared at my home and uh, said, do you think uh, there's a possibility we could get a flag? And I said to him, well, you really need a coat of arms. And uh, well, would you come and speak to the town council? And I think there were only five visits to the town council before uh, they got an understanding about the heraldry and the flag. But I think we've done a knockout job that will last for a very, very long period of time, something that every citizen in the community uh, can be uh, proud of. After raising the flag, the public was led by a parade of drummers here to St. Mark's Church. The public braved the cold and wind for a brief dedication of a stone that marks the American entrenchment. So, oh Heavenly Father, we give thanks that for the survival of those who witnessed that night, give strength to, to those who follow in the footsteps of those who call this place home. We ask all of this. All right, Reverend, can you tell me a bit about the importance of St. Mark's for the burning of Niagara? Um, in a word, uh, or in a few words, we're still here. It was one of the very few structures, uh, one of three, I think, uh, that survived the War of 1812, although the roof was burned off, the walls and the floors are the original. Uh, and, and thus, when you're having a celebration of this night, St. Mark's uh, really needs to be part of that, and it was wonderful to gather in here, because if the walls could t you know, talk, they would tell a story of what, it, what happened that night. 
And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the dedication to the stone uh, and its importance? Yes, the uh, the stone, which is at the at the base of the cemetery, marks the what we call the trench or entrenchments uh, that were that were dug by the American soldiers when they held the town from May 1813 to December, and it was for protection. And uh, they still are here, and it's just a reminder to people as they're wandering through the cemetery. It's not the natural uh, lay of the land, but that was uh, that was dug over 200 years ago, and it's a reminder of the connection between the cemetery, St. Mark's, and the War of 1812. A flag is a symbol of fellowship and identity. Among other things, they represent the history as well as the future of a country or community. The new flag and refreshed coat of arms that were unveiled today are truly monumental for the town. Reporting for The Source in Niagara-on-the-Lake, I'm Rebecca Brown.